Okay, here we are back inside Make Skull once again. Thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please smash that subscribe button, tap on that notification bell for further content, leave me a like, and please take five seconds, drop a comment in there. I really appreciate it. And also, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, down around this area below, uh, there's a thanks button. Super thanks. You can donate a cup of coffee. <laughs> um... We had a question on the Facebook group uh, about uh, doing something like this, where it's kind of like squared off at the top, I believe, uh, two squares offset, uh, and then coming down and going around. And I did a very quick, um, did a very quick video uh, in the Facebook group and put it in the chat, uh, but it doesn't give us really the best surfaces. So I thought I'd go back and go and do a little bit more detailed in it uh, to uh, be able to get a little bit better surfaces, uh, smoother and more uh, flowing surfaces. Uh, oh, by oh, by the way, also if you're uh, the third session, uh, I think the fourth will be up soon. Uh, but uh, mastering Matrix Gold on the Gym Vision Academy that should be up. So check that video out. Uh, I think you'll find it very interesting. And then the fourth one should be pretty cool. And we'll be uh, putting uh, or getting the fifth one ready here pretty soon. Uh, but let's go ahead and get going on this project. So let's go to tools, uh, grab a ring rail, and I'll just, ex oh, I just uh, reset everything. Uh, no Rhino template file. Okay, I just reset everything. So let's uh, grab a ring rail, and then I'll right click and accept that. <clears throat> we'll go to uh, outside ring rail. And, uh, you know, get it to whatever height that you want. I'll say 3 and uh, 2.5 and 2.5 for this particular design or something. Uh, but in order to get uh, that uh, shape right there, right, uh, we're going to kind of get this laid out. And then we're going to use it to make the surfaces much, much better. Uh, but this is really kind of maybe the quickest way to do it. So what we're going to do is take this and go over to our profile editor. Uh, and we'll zoom out here so we can kind of watch over there too as well. Right now we have symmetry on. I'm just going to, uh, we don't have it on. Okay, so if I turn it on, it'll look like this. Uh, and we want it off because I'm just going to work over here on the right side, not the left side. Make it easy. Uh, so I'm going to select a kink right there or a point uh, and select my curve. And I'll just drop it right in there. And then I'll take that and kind of move it over to... Uh, you can turn on snaps if you want to snap it right in uh, to a certain point. So we can take that curve. Maybe we can take that curve and move it to that point. Uh, and then we it's coming across our mid, right? It's going across the mid, mid of the ring. So it needs to come over. So if we stop it right here and do this line, we won't be able to manipulate it very well. So we're going to go in here. We're going to select this one and we're just going to move it up and over so that's way past our mid uh, and then we'll select this one and get the kind of shape that we want how straight you want it you could have it concaved you could have it a uh, little domed whatever kind of shape you want and we'll just say this is good and this is what we've got out here so we'll go ahead and take that and i'll right click and accept that so we have that little edge going across and if you look at it we can see we have the edge coming across and then going down. So it's coming across and going down like that, right? Now what I'm going to do is in order to be able to do this uh, kind of a little more parametric is I'll go into my curves than the other video in the uh, members uh, or the group Facebook in the chat room. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our curves and we're going to go to offset and I'm going to select this one and I want to offset it at a zero. I want it at the exact same size as my uh, inside ring rail. So I'm going to go to zero and hit enter. But <coughs> excuse me, now I'm going to click on this arrow and go to a negative 10. Just take it out 10, right? And then I'll, I'll go ahead and take that. And I'm going to right click, bring back that command, select my outside ring rail, and do the same thing. Just set it to zero. I want it the same uh, distance as my zero. 
as my outside ring rail. And then I'm going to click here and do another negative uh, 10, right? And hit enter. So they're both over at the same side. And then I'll just take those two, go to uh, transform, go to mirror. And I want to mirror it in my X, not my Y. So I get the same on each side. Now this, they're going to be grouped, of course. So we're just going to ungroup them. Ungroup them doesn't break history. It doesn't really matter at this point, but we want to keep all this uh, as parametric as possible, right? So if we uh, move something, we're going to be able to move the other curves as well. Uh, so that's why we did it that way. And uh, we want to try and keep all this parametric. So we're just going to go in here, do a parametric loft. Uh, from here to here, hit enter, and we'll give it some, sh I'll hit enter again to accept that. We'll give it some shading. Uh, and then I'm going to right click to bring it back again and go from here to here and then uh, right click and right click. And again, right click to bring it back. You click on here, click here, right click and right click. And then go around to this other side and right click and right click and get that so now we have all that so we're going to select all that and we're going to go to tools and we're just going to parametric join those together and then right click so that's all one so so far right now we have uh this and if we go back to our ring rail if i can select the ring rail there we go uh and hit edit uh and start moving around we can still keep manipulating so i'm going to hit escape to back out of that to get it back to where it was originally all right, so here I'm going to go ahead and change it to this color here and then just uh, hide it. And I'll take my yellow here and I'll go ahead and change that to gray and hide that as well. All right, because we can move everything from our uh, inside and outside ring rail. We can alter it. All right, so now we need to get that square top. So we'll go to curves and we'll just grab a rectangle. I'll go do a... Uh, uh, we'll do a... Uh, We'll just do a rectangle from center and uh, we'll change that to yellow, of course. Go to F4 and however thick you want it, this will be important, uh, but do, not really so much. So we'll grab it and just drop it out. And then we're just going to take it so that it's kind of going to be going outside our ring rail right here, right? But we need it past our center. So let's just go ahead and take that and kind of bump it out a little bit more. So it goes past our center about two millimeters, something like that. You can move this anywhere you want, of course, uh, but you need it on the outside of the ring rail, right? And then going past our uh, center. All right, so I'm gonna take this curve. I'm gonna hold down Alt and I'm just going to drag it up to our top right around there we need it on the outside of our ring rail uh so that it's on the outside right uh, that's important and now uh right now they're joint uh they're grouped right so if i move one the other one will move with it right and that's kind of not what i want i want to be able to move them individually so i'm just going to take this one here and just kind of bump it out just a little and that'll break history on it so i don't have to worry about it anymore and this one here, I don't think we need so wide. So uh, we're going to bring this one down a little, something like this here. So something like that. So we have a little bit wider on the top and it comes down to a mid uh, point on our uh, shank, right? So what we're going to do now, now here's the thing. If you don't have a parametric loft, right? You'll just have to draw a line and then do a sweep, right? Uh, if you do parametric, uh, you might be able to manipulate it some, but not as much as if you would uh, doing the parametric loft. So if you have the parametric loft, it's much, much easier. But you should be able to do the same thing with uh, your sweeps for the most part. Uh, so let's just go ahead and grab the loft and we'll just loft from here to here and then hit enter. So we have that. I'll right click, accept it, take that, go to cap and right click to accept that. So now we have this surface here. I'll bring back this surface here, right? So what we'll do now is we'll do a uh, Boolean intersection. We'll select this surface, enter, this surface, enter, and enter, right? And we have this surface here. Now it's a good idea at this point to kind of check to see where you want everything laid out. So I'm going to take this. I'm just going to move it over something like that. And we'll take this one here and kind of, it's not going to go right to the center, right? Because it's going to go sweeping around. Uh, and, and let's see where these kind of line up so we can kind of get it all together. So I'll grab that. 
our surface there and we'll just do a transform mirror in our x y direction and then click and set that so we can kind of see exactly where we want it so we can move it over we can uh, make it shorter uh, we can make it longer uh, there's all kinds of manipulation you can do if you have the parametric sweep uh, so there's a lot of manipulation you can do uh, i'll take it over just a little bit more so we have a little bit more gap there and we'll say that's kind of good for what we want now our bottom one here if you wanted to manipulate that too you could just kind of thin that down a little uh, however you want uh, and it updates as well right so i'm going to click off all that and i'm just going to go back and click this because it's we just wanted to check to where it's going to lay out once you get it to where you think it's good then you can just move on to the next step so it's you don't really need that anymore and like i said uh, this surface if you look at it it's not uh, it doesn't give us our mid you know it's and it's got this piece here and you know it's just not and this piece isn't going through the mid so it's not really a, a great uh, surface you know but if you're just wanting a you know a ring like this uh, you could probably just do it the way that's in the uh, Facebook group chat uh, and it'll be fine really uh, but if you're wanting to add, you know, like pave diamonds in there and do a cutout and put engraving in there and all this other stuff, you probably want to continue on and make it uh, a little bit uh, better surface, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, my uh, yellow curves there and I'll turn them to green because we don't need them. And actually right now is a great time to do a, a full save. So just select everything, go to your uh, full save. Uh, would you like to save your changes? Uh, yes, sure. Oh, not there. Uh, we'll just do it here. Uh, file is already good. Do you want to overwrite it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so now we can always come back to this point and uh, be able to manipulate because now we're going to kind of... Uh, break history and kind of really get in here so the setting it up where you exactly you want it is probably the the most important part of this first step to to get the better surfaces <coughs> excuse me so right now i'm going to go ahead and take this and i am going to go ahead and nuke it and really we just wanted this surface here to be able to uh start to manipulate more things off of it right uh, so we have this surface here, and now what we'll do is we'll go and go to our uh, pair uh, our from object, and we'll go to duplicate border, and I'll change these to red, and we will just select that entire item there, and then hit enter. Right. So now we have all these curves out there, right? And this green uh, is really not the surfaces we want, so we can just basically go ahead and grab that and just delete it. Uh, you know, we have it saved, so we can always come back and manipulate it if we need to. All right, so we have this, uh, and these are kind of all grouped together. So I'm going to take all red, and I am going to uh, nuke it so it explodes everything. So everything should be out there by uh and a lot of things were duplicated so we don't want any of these duplications so normally you can come over here and say select duplicates and then just delete the duplicates right so we don't want this thing here most definitely and we don't want that because we want a nice smooth surface and we probably want to get rid of this one here too as well uh, because we want a, a nice smooth surface there right and so what we could do maybe just give this a little uh curvature so what we can do is go to uh, fill it the first one there and it's a point one let's turn it up to maybe a point uh, three hit enter and let's uh, fill it this one and this one and right click and fill it this one and this one all right so we have that to fill it it still didn't take all my dupes so i'm going to get rid of those extra ones here and we have that fillet going around right okay uh which is kind of what we want all right so hopefully there's not any more dupes and there's another one uh so get rid of all your dupes since it didn't really do a good job getting rid oh i need that one let's bring that one back uh one one just make sure you don't have any more duplicates in there okay so the next thing we need to do is make sure that we grab this one this one here 
this one here this one here and you know because we want that all one and then join those together and i think this one here is the same way there's two of them right and we need to uh, join those two well we can keep on going around here so let's just grab that little fillet there and grab that line going down there and we'll join those together as well all right so we have this going one we have this going on and this one and this one and all these hopefully are non-duped. And there was another one. Oh, that not that one. This is it this one? No. There was another one, I thought. Maybe I clicked on that line. Okay. All right, so we have that, right? Uh, so we want to get a nice clean surface, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take all of red. We're going to take all of red here, uh, checking something here. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select all of red and we'll just go ahead and transform, uh, go to our parametric mirror because we want to keep everything somewhat organized. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit enter there. So we have this here, right? So we have both edges out there and it should be the same. Uh, oh, they're grouped, so let's ungroup them, but they should still stay together. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now what we need to do is get the bottom of our shank. If we were to try and do, uh, you know, use these curves, uh, the inside outside ring rails to get those curves, it probably would uh, not give us a really nice smooth uh, curve, right? So what we're going to do is uh, we need to work in our front viewport here as well. And I just hid the inside outside ring rail for right now so they're not getting in the way. And I'll also just go ahead and change it to another color so I can just kind of make know that what I got to work with out here, right? Uh, so I'll go to curves and I will go to arc direction and go to arc direction third one down. And I will select this outside with my point snaps on uh, and this outside one here. I hold down shift and then click, uh, right? And I'll just go ahead and do that to all these here. Hold down shift, click uh, on the inside there, go to my outside there and my outside here. Hold down shift, click one more time, go from that corner there to this corner here, hold down shift and click, right? So I get this, right? And as you can see, it's coming down straight, just like we would probably get if we were doing the, um, using the rails right which is kind of not uh, a great little look there right so let's go ahead and grab all these and let's turn on our points right and now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these uh, well first i'll show you we're really close to our inside outside ring rail uh, if you wanted to you could uh, grab these bottom ones and just kind of uh, bump them up a little bit so they're right there on your ring rail and you can do to the outside ones here as the same thing uh, and bump them up to your ring rail or if you want to make it thinner you could do that so we have it pretty much on our ring rail now all right so i'm going to grab all these over here all right which are uh, the right side here and you can see that it's coming down like this so i'm just going to grab that arrow there and kind of just move it over to where that curve kind of looks much better with that side there right and now i'm going to go to the other side grab all those and this one we want to go this way to the left so we're going to drag them over to the left so we can kind of see that it gives us a little bit uh, better uh curve going on maybe this one's a little too much you can play around with these to get them uh, really nice uh, it just really depends on how much time you want to spend to get it all together but we'll take all that okay now i'm going to go ahead and grab those curves in there those curves in there and i'll change those to blue here for right now and turn them off and i'll turn my uh, ring rails off all right so i have this out here right so we can get this a little bit better uh, in order for those surfaces to flow. So let's go and we'll scroll down here to our uh, edit tools and we'll do a match uh, from this curve here to this curve here. And we'll keep it at tangency, average curves and join them together. So that'll join that curve together uh, and we'll do it to all those. 
as it hit that uh, go through and just join right clicking bringing back the command and getting them all uh, together with tangency right and they're here okay and a couple more and one more okay so we have all these out here and they're all one curves now okay uh so let's check to see what they are so if i go in here and type in what uh open poly surf with two two curves right uh two so it's a poly curve right and we probably don't want a poly curve so we want to try and change them uh into uh into a NURBS curve, all right? So the best way to do that is uh, uh, fit to tolerance. Now, fit to tolerance is exactly like doing rebuild, right? So you can uh, use fit to tolerance. It's, it's almost like a rebuild. So what we're going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and select this one here. I'll go to uh, fit to tolerance and then uh, it's 0 0.001 and I'll degree three, keep it at degree three and I'll just go ahead and hit enter, right? And I'll do that to all these uh, and fit to tolerance, enter, enter. Uh, so we have two of them, uh, click on this one, right click, fit to tolerance, enter, enter and enter and then, so it should be okay uh click on this one right click uh enter 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 so we should have them all and if we go back into what now we have a nerves curve right so we might want to check all of them just to make sure we got them all uh nerves curve and this one here right clicking to bring back options right nerves curve okay so hopefully uh it should give us a nerves surface which should be a nice smooth surface and one we could turn on points we could do all kind of editing right uh so let's try uh let's go to a surface sweep two with history let's grab this one here this one here that one and i think it's this one here right click and we'll just get rid of all this over here we don't need it right click and then we'll click on that we'll come down here right click in our uh, command line and go to what and we have a NURB surface, so it should be fine. And as you can tell, it's not all jacked up. We have a nice uh, center line going through there. And of course, when we get to the bend, it's going to have more curves, but we should be okay. So let's go ahead, right click so we can bring back, oh, no, we wanna go back to sweep two. Let's do the inside here, 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 and here, and right click and turn all our command, uh, dynamic command options off and then right click and we'll check them all all the surfaces here after we're done uh, and then click there 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 and there and right click turn off all our options over here and we'll go right click uh, from uh, let's see uh, here to here and here and here and right click and turn all these puppies off all right and we'll last two right click and right click bring it back there 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 and there and turn all these puppies off all right and then come over here right click bring it back and get these four and turn all these puppies off over here all right so we should have everything laid out pretty good and as you can see it's you know a lot better flow there you could keep manipulating on with that if you wanted to uh and let's go ahead and take all our green and let's see if we join it together uh it gives us a closed poly surface and if we go in here to this uh, you can see we have a, a nice smooth those lines we don't have any kinks there everything's running nice and smooth 
uh, even up in here, uh, everything is very, very nicely done. Uh, now we can go in there and make a cutout and pave some diamonds coming around and do all kind of uh, engraving or whatever we want to do with the item itself. Even go through and uh, uh, fillet those edges if you wanted to. Uh, there's all kinds of things you could do. But this way you get a, a much better uh, surface uh, to flow out there. Uh, it's it's a much uh, nicer and able to be able to be manipulated even more. It looks like we have a little something going on. Our points maybe we should have maybe brought those in a little bit. That's totally minor compared to the other surface that we would have gotten. Uh, so hopefully this and you could uh, you could you know go back in there and you know the more you play around with those bottom edges you know the uh, the nicer it'll be. Okay, so hopefully that helps, uh, and if it does, please go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, good designing.